Welcome back to Orcs Must Die. We continue to play each level as if we are playing for the first time and try to get five skulls on it. So let's go. And if you're wondering why the game is in French, well, that's because I'm practicing my French. So the next level is the bridge. So let's go ahead and um, let's start this off. We don't have enough skulls to do any upgrades and we didn't have the times so when I was doing this level the first time I'm playing. So there you go. No upgrades here. So. What do we need to get uh, five skulls? Well, first of all, we don't have. We must not die. We must not allow any orcs to come through, and we must complete level in a certain amount of time. We don't know, so we have to try to do this as quickly as possible. Here we are. Here we start off the level, and it's called the bridge because there are actually two bridges. Oh, there are bridges over the lava here. We have and. It will kind of create certain opportunities for us in terms of to kind of push the works into the lava to, to make it fun. Now, we also have here uh, portals which go from one to another end. Uh, they are not that useful because all they do is they just go here. And here it is, we have this kind of little balcony here. And we can look over and shoot the works here and here. And it looks like, well, that might be a good place to put those elven archers. Yeah, no. See, the problem with Elven Archers is that they're really good at short distance, not at the long distance. So, Archers being from there somewhere on the balcony will miss a lot. So, they're not going to be any use. So, instead, we need to put up some traps. That. And there's another problem. You see, here we have a one hole here, the hallway here that they run through. They reach here, they, the portal here for the rift. And uh, we have another hallway and the orcs don't meet, so there is no central point where we can put the orcs together and kind of deal with them. And at the same time we need to kind of deal with them quickly. You know, it's tempting to try to say, well this is not very narrow, so we can put up stuff here. Yeah, we can. And uh, it is possible to kind of try to hold them off. The problem is that by the time the orcs are grouped up here, you're gonna have orcs also going from here, from there, you're gonna be having very little time to kind of uh, go between. So you need to make sure that you have a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, traps for a setup here to deal with most of the orcs while you're dealing with the other orcs on the other end. And so that's a bit of a problem. So instead we go do a different approach, which I think is pretty good here. There's no point of getting a battle blade here because um, we're not going to be fighting orcs uh, in a close proximity. It isn't a kind of a, an option you can say, well, I can gonna hold off uh, orcs in one location, so I'm going to focus on myself and improve myself and the character, but I'm going to use the traps to hold off the orcs there. Here's the problem. You see these two windows here? There's going to be flying enemies coming from here. And that's going to be a problem. Now you have four points that you need to hold off. So this is not the place or location where you're going to be able to do this using the powers of you, right? In terms of saying like, oh, there's one place I can hold, hold off with the traps and one can I just hold off, hold off by myself. No, no. You have to close off a lot of places with traps. So, focus will be on traps. But we will take the wind, play, uh, the wind uh, belt uh, because we can push the orcs in the lava here, which is pretty nice. It's a very easy, efficient way to deal with orcs. The only problem is that usually they get close, too close to you at first and hit you a few times. We're going to take the flame braces uh, because they are good always to close off a door and that create that wall. We're also going to take the uh, ice amulet. Why? Well, let's look at the enemy lineup. We get the normal orcs, we get this exploding uh, kobolds, which just run at you, they explode. We get an ogre and we get the archer, uh, the, uh, the one that, the, the archer or Work, right? The one that uses is crossbow. So, what uh, we're going to have we, is this one's a pretty good, you know, the problems dealing with them is uh, with fire. Then we get a fire ogre, and then we get two flying enemies, which are all use fire. So, fire is not very effective against them. Um, so, that's why there is an ice amulet. It's very effective against the ice ogres. Uh, sorry, fire ogres. Ice ogres, you know. We would, if you had ice overs, we'll use uh, flaming pieces against them, right? But this is the situation here. So, we're gonna use this as a solution. And we're not gonna focus on anything in terms of fire related because there's no point. It's, uh, well, this one can still make it through. Through the fire uh, enemy attacks, so there you go. 
So next we're gonna focus on the traps. The tar trap is always good, it slows down the works and we're gonna take them throughout the arrow walls because well here we have a wall which into which the works will run and if any of them make it through all the way there that's gonna be a nice uh, trap path to put out there. We're gonna use the spring trap and we're gonna use the the trap here for when it comes to the wall blades. Again it's a pretty nice one to put it uh, here this location and when it comes to spring trap this is where it's going to go. It's gonna go under the bridge to throw the works into the lava. Now previously I did not like the spring trap and the reason for it is because well the ogres quite often ignore it. It doesn't do anything for ogres and so anybody walking behind the ogre well they get saved pretty much from it as well. Well we have a solution here when it comes to weavers they'll be able to offer a solution for the ogres problem. And now finally we're gonna get the electrical trap uh, which is gonna be sitting up here where we're gonna deal with applying enemies. We got quite a bit of our ceilings here that we can use to set up the traps to stop the flying enemies. Alright, so let's do this and let's set up the trap. So now you should just pick one bridge, either that one or this one, doesn't matter which one you pick. I'll pick this one because now I'm here already and we're gonna set up the, the spring traps. So, Pick trap go will go this way. And the reason I'm putting it this way is that well the orcs will fly into that lava pool and will die there. But some of them will make it to this bridge. And they'll bridge here and either they'll bounce off and fly further or they'll just get up and run at you. That's a risk we have to take. Uh, when it comes to spring traps, you really want them to actually be positioned so that they can fling gold works against the walls the fall into the lava 100% but the problem here is that some works will fly into that window let me bother that there into that window there and they'll just stand there because they can't move any further and now you'll have a problem is that well you have a live orcs that you have to get up there and kind of shoot off to the headshots because sometimes they're gonna be pretty deep in there and you pretty hard to aim and then that's gonna be a problem for you because you're wasting time trying to shoot off this uh, orcs from, from this distance. So, solution is, well, we're gonna have the orcs fly into the lava there and if some of them do get up and run at us, well, they do get up and run at us. Okay. Right, so, that's done and we're gonna go ahead and choose a viewer. We're gonna be choose a viewer of steel which helps with traps because we wanna get this upgrade that will increase the strength of all the physics traps which will allow us to affect the ogres. So we're gonna do this first and then we're gonna quickly do the other two upgrades so that we can deal with ogres. Alright, so we're gonna take the fire braces, we're gonna start off and we're gonna close off the door putting up the wall here so that the traps have less to do because we don't know maybe some works will be able to manage to run through all these traps because there's time to do so. Right? Because the traps have to not reset fast enough sometimes. And that's it. And we run out of uh, our build belt. Our abilities. The build is not going to be that useful here, sadly. Not something that will be fun. There you go. Nice. So, next upgrade. Quickly. Bon. Très bien. Fire braces. And let's go run to the wall. The door, actually. I put up the... Okay, well, this was not needed because uh, this is the... ...Foto Cobalt and we can just do it on the So let's go ahead and close off now this door again. Uh, we got works with shields, which is not uh, that good because, uh, well, the physics traps don't care if the orcs have shields. They'll fill them up anyway. And I st but for us, that's a problem because, well, you know, we have an additional... Uh, time that we need to hit the orcs with uh, no big deal with them. Okay, okay next yeah. uh, upgrade. So now the ogres are going to be taken care of if they come through. We have all the upgrades and now we can focus on setting up additional traps. Oh, the ogres coming through. Okay, never mind, never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and put up the actual line here. And let's try to aim for the head. Ice amulet to do to solve this problem here. Yeah. 
and some works made it through. Okay, let's uh. Deal with them. But here's a problem with a spring trap in this situation here that happens. If it works, I trigger you know, just trigger the trap, they fly all the way here, they land on this balcony here, not balcony, on the bridge here, sorry. And they get up, they're not gonna run towards there. They actually will take a turn and they'll run back towards where they're supposed to be running, the original direction. So that's something you'll have to deal with. But here's the problem, we haven't seen any flying orcs yet, uh, the flying enemies, so we need to deal with them. So, flying well, enemies come through that window, fly across all this hole, right, they come through that window as well, fly across this hole, oh, and go into here, well, this one that come from this window will fly all the way to here. And now, if you're defending on this bridge, you can have no issues covering this window, you're gonna have issues covering that window. So, to make your life easier, I do think it's uh, better to put up something here. And we're gonna put up some uh, traps here, hopefully we can put up something there eventually. But we're gonna try to close off here the ability for the works to go through. And let's go. Okay, so it's gonna be flying orcs actually apparently. Uh, so, let's uh, Let's do the headshots and use the flying works. As fast as possible. Here, if we deal with this one, got no trap covering this area at all. And now the works are flying through, so we gotta go ahead and put them here so we can pull down the, the ability to them to make it through here. I'm gonna put up another trap there. Hopefully. There, okay, made it. And we have enough money now to put up another trap. Hold off a bit more. That's what we want to try to do. And now we got work coming through. So this uh, firewall. And the flying enemies are gonna be coming in, and well, not a problem in this case. So that closed out this area. That's good, uh, that's dealt with. Don't go ahead and add another trap here because that's where the enemies are going to come from. Yeah. Good. Done. All the flying enemies are also gone. So now 
clear about we need to do. We need to stop worrying about the air. To do that, we have to clean up traps here, and that kind of pulls off the air, and we don't have to worry about the air because that's going to be, I think, sufficient. If anybody makes it through, well, we are going to be on that end anyway because we're going to be dealing with all the works that are kind of through. Now, alright. Actually, I should be on that end uh, to deal with the uh, e works that here. So let's go ahead and put this up very quickly. Fireball here. Time to start closing off uh, this area. And we got uh, flying enemies, and we got oh, we got the fire over. So we're just gonna let the trucks take care of that. There you go. And now we can just close off this. Uh, a little bit uh, simpler for for a truck. There we go. Good. Two more tra traps here. We we saw that the fire over is coming through, so. That's something that we need to look out for. In the meantime, uh, while the fire over is coming through. Go ahead. We have uh, almost everything closed off. Time to start uh, putting up more traps here. And since we kind of stick into the right bridge most of the time, let's put up uh, some arbors here. This will prevent the works from kind of uh, the ones that make it through here from going any further. This will take care of them. You might as well put up a. Uh, this, uh, the blades here as well, all blades so that they deal damage to any works that do make it through. And go ahead, I uh, should have actually been on this side to pull out. Uh, oh, again, works uh, with shields, not the best uh, combination for us. Also, this little uh, golden points of the map, that's where the points are. Oh, we had an orb down there. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Um, so, all that means is that there are some works that... Um, ...that die in lava and you sadly cannot claim the points. Because the extra points for it is something that you have to find out what I need to get uh, Okay, I was too busy here. There uh, and the uh, so. Alright, 
more souls to become made of here, here and the die this looks like terrible. Good thing. So I'm gonna add a bit more problems to them here. While we'll hold off. Okay, we're gonna die if we don't do something right here. This is not such a fine but I think we Alright, uh, Taking care of that to work, and it looks like we're going to go ahead and do it. There you go, that's it. Five skulls. I was going to put up uh, two arrows, uh, not arrows. Uh, the blade walls here, but uh, the blade traps. Okay, well, we don't need to. There you go, five skulls. And let's look at statistics wise, we have plenty of time to look at five skulls. Uh, go down a lot worse and still not lose uh, five skulls when it comes to time. Oh, there you go. So that's how to do the, the bridge level. I mean, the works must die at five skulls. So from you know, the very beginning, without actually kind of a looking to see what will be coming at you, just kind of a looking at analyzing as you play along. So there you go. Thank you for watching and for listening. If you like this video, please like it. If you can like it, don't like it. And please subscribe.